Welcome to The Health Show. I'm Robert Lipside. Our cover story is about one woman's triumph over statistics. According to the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, the chance of becoming pregnant in any given month drops from approximately 20% for women under 30 to only 5% for women over 40. How do you beat those odds if you want to conceive naturally? Julia Indichoba is the author of Inconceivable, Winning the Fertility Game. Dr. Frederick Lachardi is an assistant professor at New York University's School of Medicine and a board-certified OBGYN specializing in reproductive endocrinology and in vitro fertilization. Welcome. Julia, you know, the statistics really were against you. You were uh, trying to conceive at 42. You'd already had a child. You were trying to conceive at 42, uh, and, and your hormone level was at 42, which was kind of off the chart. Yes. And absolutely. doctors really didn't want to deal with you. And no. yet, you put yourself on the kind of medical industrial new age conveyor belt because you thought you could beat those odds. Why? I didn't know I could beat those odds, but after about a year of going from one specialist to the next and being turned down, uh, basically being told that there was absolutely nothing that I could do for my high FSH, my high follicle stimulating, stimulating hormone level, I, one day it occurred to me that perhaps I could try to take action. Uh, and certainly there were no guarantees that the action I would take would work. But I thought the worst possible scenario will be that I won't get pregnant and I'll be the healthiest possible Julia. Well, I so want to come back to, you know, exactly what you did do, but Dr. Lachardi, would you have turned her down? With those FSH levels, her chances of getting pregnant really actually were remote. I mean, it's a wonderful thing that you got pregnant. Nothing makes me feel better than when a patient mm -hmm. uh, calls me and tells me that she's pregnant, whether I've treated her or well, not. It's better if you've treated her, I'm sure. Well, now, would you have seen her as a candidate for in vitro? Uh, uh, actually, no. She would not have been no. a candidate for in vitro fertilization. You those endocrine... You would have said... Yes. Uh, Go adopt, go no, away. No, well, you, say you know, we never say never. Yeah. I, I, what I do say is your odds of conceiving with in vitro fertilization are very low, and your odds of conceiving on your own are very low. So my techniques are not going to be able to increase mm -hmm. your odds. So to do an in vitro fertilization procedure, which, in, which involves injections and anesthesia and a surgical procedure. And a lot of money that is not covered by insurance. Exactly. So this was a kind of a, a that would have been an honest response by a doctor who is not going to take money uh, without a good chance of. So it before you took control, absolutely. you did go through a lot of procedures. Because, because I wanted what everyone else right. wants. I wanted to be fixed. I wanted someone to give me a magic pill to mm -hmm. find the, the, the acupuncture mm -hmm. point that would work, and I, I didn't want to do that. I, I loved your book, and I'm thrilled with your story because it's what this show is about, which is taking control. Because this is such an emotionally loaded issue, because we want this baby more than we want anything else in our lives, it can be a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for strengthening ourselves on a physical, emotional, spiritual level. And now you can tell your, your daughter, thank you very much <laughs> for getting me into such great physical and I spiritual do, I tell shape. Her, tell I her tell that all the time. Thank you so much for joining us. And take care of yourself. We want you back next week. I'm Robert Lipside. <laughs> <laughs>